Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Manisha. So in my previous video, I, I showed you how to connect uh, with a large language model, how to access large language model from hugging face. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to access ChatGPT like large language model from OpenAI website. Uh, so uh, so a few details are important like about pricing and uh, what are the things that we need to follow uh, to get the access so that all those things I am going to explain in this video. So in so this tutorial, first we will go through a compressive guide to understand OpenAI API access uh, related information and then we will make our first API call. Uh, before we enter into the practical demo, I think these are a few things are important which I have listed here. This notebook will be available on my GitHub uh, account. You can access it from there. Let's see the step one. Uh, which is understanding OpenAI's platform. In that, I have three things. Uh, I found three things are important. Model overview, API overview, and token uh, tokenizer tool. Under model overview, uh, it, it gives the uh, detailed information how to access model. Uh, I'm just going to open this link from here. And you can see there are different uh, OpenAI's uh, model. So first, let's see different LLM models by OpenAI. You can find detailed information about each model, including their capabilities, their use cases uh, on this website. The first model is GPT-40 uh, Omni. Uh, this is the fastest and most affordable uh, flagship uh, model that they mention here. It handles text and image input and it provides text output. Uh, it can process uh, a large amount of text up to 128k uh, context length. So what is context length? Uh, it's normally referred to a number of tokens or words that language model consider when uh, generating a response. And uh, talking about cost, uh, we can see like uh, here $5 per million tokens for input. This is and for output. $15 uh, dollar per million tokens for output. Talking about GPT-4 Turbo, uh, it provides high intelligence model and it handles text image input and provides output, text output. It also process 120k context length. Cost is uh, $10 per million um, tokens for input and $30 per million tokens for uh, output. So it's comparatively lower than GPT-4.0. Uh, then next is a uh, uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, this is it is fast and inexpensive model for simple tasks, uh, and it uh, handles text input and provides text output. So in here you see image input. These models are able capable to handle input image input, but in Turbo 3.5 we just have in text input and we get a text output. The context length is relatively low than these two models. It processes a small amount of text that is 16k context length. And input cost is also low, 0.50 dollar per million tokens for input and uh, 1.50 dollar per million tokens for output. For this current tutorial, we are going to access GPT 3.5 Turbo. The next point is uh, API overview. So it's a comprehensive guide available, uh, comprehensive guide for uh, on how to access API. Uh, I have also provided the link that you can follow and we have uh, these models we already saw. For this video, uh, we are going to access a text generation API. It learns how to generate text and calls functions. In this specific model, we are going to use answer questions about knowledge base. Next is a, a tokenizer tool. Uh, it's useful for encoding text. So we can try uh, how it works uh, about tokenizer. It's a, a actually important part of part of using lar large language model because it's it gives the understanding how your input data is processed by large language model. OpenAI uh, actually provide this tool tokenizer tool that helps uh, us to understand how your text is encoded. Uh, into tokens and uh, tokens are actually a basic units of processing for the model. Uh, there are few things uh, are important in tokenizer tool. First is uh, uh, what is tokenizer? So it actually breaks down text into small pieces and we call it as a token which is also 
we can also say that it's a sequence of characters next is uh, what is its purpose it helps a la language model to understand and process text by learning relationship between tokens and the to tool that we see here it actually uh, provide us how the text is splitted into tokens and uh, and it also helps to count uh, them so that we can get the idea about pricing we also see that variation so different model for example gpt uh, 4.0 uh, it's coming soon but for gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 uh, we have special to tokenizer tool then uh, gpt for gpt 3 it's a different thing in other words we can say different models use a different tokenizers tool regarding to conversion conversation from text to uh, token the rule of thumb uh, they have also mentioned somewhere here one token is about four characters or we can say three by four or 0.75 of a word so 100 tokens are roughly uh, roughly calculated as a uh, 75 words this is what they mention here let's move to the st step number two uh, it's about signing up and uh, getting api keys so to start using the api we will first need to create an account uh, on OpenAI's official website and then we will also explore some pricing which we already saw but we can just have a rough idea quickly uh, we will also see that which model we are going to use for this video and we will up obtain API keys uh, and of course this API key should be secured and it is important you don't you cannot share with the others uh, now we are going to see how to register an account on, on OpenAI official website once you are on this website click on start building uh, if you if you don't have account just go for sign up uh, as i already created my account here i have credential my id and password so i'm just going to log in and then i will show you rest of the things so as you can see i already logged into the platform uh, once you registered to this platform you will need to uh, obtain an api key this key is important to access all api request and uh, it's to access open api services so the next is how to obtain api key you just need to click here and then go to your profile to access open ai uh, llm models you need to create uh, api keys and so for that you have to be here api keys uh, as owner of this project you can view and manage all api keys in this project so which means you can create more than one key uh, click here create a new secret key type the the name of the key i just write my test and then set a project is equal to default project and permissions uh, if you want restricted read only and click on create secret key now next part is about uh, pricing we already saw a bit of this part uh, we uh, in this sign up and api keys in step number two we already obtained the keys we already secured the key uh, next step is practical three uh, practical api usage uh, model selection we already selected our model which is a gpt 3.5 model uh, next is a parameter for api calls so here um, additionally what you can do you can customize your request with a parameter such as a max token temperature top underscore p so what is max token it sets the maximum number of tokens words or characters the model can generate for example if you set max underscore tokens is equal to 50 it limits the response length to 50 tokens and uh, about temperature uh, it controls the randomness in the answer so lower value for example 0.1 makes response more uh, focused as well as deterministic and if you uh, set the this uh, temperature is equal to 0 0.9 which makes uh, the response more creative next one is top underscore p uh, for example if you say top underscore p is equal to 0 0.9 uh, which means it considers only top 90 percent of probable tokens the next step is example api uh, so example I, ju I just want to show you the how tokenizer works i'm just going to click here and uh, yes going to copy that and paste it here and we can count how many tokens are there so total number of tokens are 4 and number of characters are 14 
is just an example uh, to see how encoding happens. Uh, the model we are going to use here is GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's fast and cost effective for simple tasks. Uh, we are using it for a question answering task. Now it's time to see the uh, practical demo. First, we are going to uh, install a library, then import library, then we will uh, call API and we will check if we if the connection is going to happen uh, if we are able to access the gpt 3.0 turbo model and then uh, we will uh, ask a question uh, to the model and we expect to get a, a, a response we will also try to set uh, these uh, few parameters to check what kind of response we will get so first thing is to install library uh, open AI library is important because we are accessing their LLM. We already installed open AI library. Next is to import this library. So in here, we also have to pass open AI API keys. Uh, so first I imported open AI uh, library uh, and then I have to access open AI API key. I'm going to insert here my open AI um, API key. So in here, I'm successfully access my API key. Uh, I just remove the key just for the security purpose. Uh, next uh, step is uh, for calling API. So for that model that we are using is this one. Uh, then uh, the message part uh, contains system user and assistance. So the question um, in, in system, I have entered that you are a helpful assistant. You can also write a uh, few more things if you want. We will rerun this. So in here, you can see that uh, uh, I'm able to call APIs uh, successfully. And the question that I would like to ask to the model is who was a president of European Commission? And the assistant that I provided is, or assistant message that I provided to the model is the person is uh, I want the name of the person who is the longest serving president of the European Commission. Now I'm going to print the response. This is the line that I, we need to use to print the response. And the response that I got the longest serving president of European Commission was this one and who was served from 1985 to 1995. I believe that this is the right response. The next step is I would like to show you this. Um, I would like to customize the request, uh, which is using these three parameters, max tokens, temperature and top P. It's not actually the objective of this video, but uh, it's just an extra thing that we can try. Uh, so the as I mentioned that we are going to see three, we are going to set three more parameters, max token, temperature and top underscore P. Uh, so what is max token? Um, it sets the maximum number of tokens in the response and temperature. It controls the creativity of the response. Top P, uh, it limits the token choices to the top 90% of probability. So ma in max token, I set 45, temperature 0 0.5 or I can, I can set 0 0.8 and top underscore P uh, variable I set with uh, 0 0.8 value. And the question that I ask is the same uh, like before this one and the assistant message is also the same. And we successfully call the API with this by passing these three parameters. So it's running and next is to print the, the response and it's, it's the same uh, line of code that we are using here. And here is the response that we got. And I think response is the same. I think this is the right answer, but the purpose is to show you how we can access uh, OpenAI LLM model for our personal use and how we can, you know, customize the response. Uh, also, uh, what are the, you know, model, the models that they provide, then OP API, uh, the token that they tokenize the tool that they provide, how it works, what is the token, then how we can set up the, the account. And there are a few things like subscription plans and then the model that we selected. So he in here, the idea is to give you a, a detailed guidance on how to access uh, GPT, uh, OpenAI's GPT models. And um, in the next video, I'm going to explain prompt design and engineering. So don't forget to watch that video as well. About notebook, uh, you can access it from my GitHub account. You can use this notebook for your own case study. And yes, that's all for this video. Uh, hope uh, you find this video helpful and thanks for watching the video. 
i hope you like this video uh, please subscribe to the channel share with your friends uh, if you find this content useful and if you have any question please leave them in in uh, comment and uh, see you in the next video till then take care